What was the first watch you ever owned? Um, it was probably something, uh, some sort of tied surf watch. It was the first watch that st sticks out in my memory. I can't remember the brand, but it was um, had the tide controls on it, and that was my <coughs> go-to for when the surf was going to be good or bad and, and so on. So what does it mean today to join this Tag Heuer family? Uh, it's wonderful. It's great. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the brand for years, and it's the number watch brand, watch brand in, in, in Australia. So it's something that um, has been around for a long time uh, and, and recognisable by many people, myself included. Um, but the, you know, the history and the iconic sort of Steve McQueen, Formula One, you know, uh, scenes that, or images that I've stuck in my head from, from many years ago um, is something I think, I mean, he epitomised the cool and, and, and the fashion and, um, you know, to be a part of that in some, <laughs> some way is great. I have the Carrera, which I was given on the Rush uh, press tour, and then I have the, the Monaco, um, the Aqua Racer, which is the watch I wear when I'm surfing or swimming, and um, it's the one that seems to take the most abuse and survive. <laughs> Were you aware of the relationship between TAG and Formula One before Rush, or was Rush the first um, time you were aware of that? No, I was, yeah. I think due to, due to Steve McQueen and those, those iconic images, was uh, obviously aware of it. But Rush was, I think, the first time um, I had some sort of education on it. You know, it was on the front of Nicky's uh, car on the Ferraris. Um, and Tag, obviously, being one of the, the main early sponsors and, you know, uh, with, with, with Formula One. Yeah, Rush was sort of the most, the most involved it was with me, I think. You know, on the on the Rush press tour, I was given a um, a Carrera, uh, which I wore throughout the press, and it was a beautiful watch. And so, that's I think initiated my <laughs> love for the, the watches. The the don't crack under pressure tagline, uh, I guess, is relevant to what I do. You know, it's 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 a competitive industry, and there is a whole lot of pressure. And uh, for me to apply a preparation and a hard work uh, and discipline and focus. Um, eliminates the possibility of cracking under the pressure, I think. Can you tell me a little bit about your style when you're not working and you're off camera? And uh, do you wear a watch then and how does the watch... Yeah, yeah. I, the, the, when I'm back home and I'm, I'm not working, um, I'd wear the aqua racer because I'm in the water surfing or training so much and it seems to be the, the most resilient watch, you know, for the abuse I might <laughs> give it and, and the rough sort of lifestyle. But, um, my general style would be a oh, pair of shorts and t-shirt because it's, it's pretty hot and tropical weather where I am. Yeah, my wife in influences my style in a big way. She says yes or no <laughs> is the definitive kind of decision maker. Um, no, I mean, I have, <laughs> that's not entirely true. She, she just has great taste, better taste than I do. So I, uh, you know, need her, need her opinion. So we congratulate you. You've recently had twins. Um, how does your style work into your life as a dad? Do you even think about <laughs> style when you're in your day-to-day? -day? With the kids, yeah. uh, my style would be practicality and nothing white because uh, anyone with kids knows it's immediately just covered in food and everything else that they, they like to throw around the place. Now, you're um, very active and you've done roles that involve your physical preparation. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you train and... What yeah. You do on, on an exercise it depends. Um, what, so for training. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, for training, um, if it's Thor and Avengers, it's it's a lot of weightlifting. Um, it's it's very much old-fashioned bodybuilding, isolated muscle groups and so on. Um, and then anything else I do is about the opposite. It's it's, it's cardio and, and a lot of running and swimming and you know trying to get that that weight or that muscle down. Um, when we shot Rush. And to be able to fit into the Formula One car and match the, the body shape that James Hunt had was it was a lower calorie diet, um, but it was a lot of a lot of cardio sort of workouts and stuff. I am currently wearing the Aqua Racer, which is the one I, I wear most of the time, as I said, because of my active lifestyle. <laughs>